Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be solving two multiple choice problems from SAT Maths. And the first one is, if 3x minus y is equal to 12, find the value of a to the power x over 2 to the power y. And these are the options you have to select the correct answer from. But before we begin, if you are new here, please do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. It is free, there's no charges on that, and you can change your mind at any time. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. So looking at this fraction very carefully, you can see that if you manipulate this one very well, you'll be able to generate this. Okay, so let's deal with this one. We have a to the power x over 2 to the power y. Okay, and this 8 could also be written as 2 to the power 3. Okay, so in place of 8, I'm going to write 2 to the power 3, then to the power x, all over 2 to the power y. And this is also the same as 2 to the power 3x over 2 to the power y. Okay? Now from indices, if you have a to the power b over a to the power c, this is the same as a to the power b minus c. So I'm going to apply this condition over here. This 2 to the power 3x over 2 to the power y could also be written as 2 to the power 3x minus y. Okay? And from the question, we know 3x minus y, which is 12 over here. So in place of this whole thing, I'm going to replace it by 12. So we have 2 to the power 12. And this is our final answer. So the correct option is option A. Okay? Now let's go to the second question. Now the second question is, express 8 minus i over 3 minus 2i in the form a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers. Okay? So we are going to express this fraction involving complex numbers in this form in such a way that a and b are real numbers okay so let's start we have 8 minus i over 3 minus 2i now the first thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to multiply the numerator and then the denominator by the conjugate of this 3 minus 2i so we have the conjugate is 3 plus 2i okay then i'll multiply it by the denominator as well so we have 3 plus 2i all right so let's multiply the top first 8 times 3 is 24 okay then 8 times 2i is 16i okay now we are done with the 8 let's come to the minus i minus i times 3 is minus 3i then minus i times 2i we have negative 2i squared okay all divided by now here we have we have 3 minus 2i and then 3 plus 2i so from algebraic identity if we have a squared minus b squared this is the same as a plus b and then a minus b okay so this implies that the denominator is 3 squared minus 2i squared okay now let's simplify the top first we have 24 then 16i minus 3i is 13i then let's focus on this thing over here. We have 2i squared. From this, we have i is equal to square root of negative 1. So i squared will be square root of negative 1 squared. So this square will cancel this square root. So we have i squared is equal to negative 1. Okay? So negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. Okay, all divided by 3 squared is 9. Okay, so 2 squared is 4. Then times negative 1 is negative 4. 
times this negative one so we have plus 4 over here all right 24 plus 2 is 26 then plus 13i all divided by 9 plus 4 is 13 okay now let's factor 13 out so from here we have 13 into 2 plus i all divided by 13 all right so this 13 will cancel this one now we have 2 plus i okay so we have been able to express this in the form of a plus b i okay where a is equal to 2 and then b is equal to 1 so that is it i hope you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel thanks a lot for watching see you again on the next video